Welcome to the Layers tutorial. Layers and Map Tool are a pretty basic thing, but you do need to understand how they operate in order to make and uh, manipulate your maps and map tool. So to start with, you do have four layers in Map Tool, and they're listed right here, your background, object, hidden, and token. And they stack just like they're listed here, just like layers of a cake. And what I mean by that is, let's say you chose the object layer, and then you went into your image library and uh, dragged out a little bridge. And then we'll go to the drawing tool, and uh, again we'll choose the object layer, and we'll draw a couple lines here. And now we'll go back down to the background layer, we'll choose a different color. Now you can see anything I draw here ends up going behind anything else I just did because it's one layer beneath. Same if I switch again over to the selection tool and I'll choose background here and I'll choose a little piece of a bridge and I'll put it out here. And You can see now it's getting set behind everything because it's a full layer down. So anything in those layers is you know underneath or above just like it's stacked here. Now the second rule to remember with layers is that within a particular layer images rule. Images always go on top of drawings. So if you remember, this image right here is in the object layer. Now if I go to the drawing tool and again choose the object layer, it doesn't matter that I'm drawing this after it, it'll always go underneath it. So just, that's one thing you have to remember is drawings always go beneath images in a particular layer. Now images can be shifted though. So if I go back to my selection tool here, and I choose this bridge, I can, let's see, I'll move it up here, right click on it, go to change to, and move it to the background layer. You see how now it's beneath some of these drawings now because I just moved layers. Now drawings you can't do that with. Anything made with the drawing tool, whatever layer you draw it on, it's stuck there. They can't be moved around, but images can. Now that's it for general overarching rules for the layers. It's pretty basic. There are a couple uh, rules that pertain to individual layers though. So for example, the background layer. It's assumed that anything going in there is going to be in your background, stuff that doesn't normally move. For example, um, you know, trees or walls, something along those lines. And so, if you turn on your grid, the grid goes on top of anything that's in the background layer. See how it's going over the top of this bridge right now. But if I was to change it to the object layer, now you can see it goes above the grid. That's really just a cosmetic thing, but still something to remember. Then the object layer, nothing really special about that, it's just another layer. The hidden layer is just what it sounds like. Anything in there is hidden from the players. Only the GM can see any drawings or any images that you put in that hidden layer. Then you have the token layer. That, as its name says, is really supposed to be reserved for the tokens, the images that represent your PCs and your NPCs. You can use it for other things if you want, but if you look in your preferences, there's a lot of different preferences you can set for how those images behave of those PCs and NPCs that you're dragging in. And of course, that's the top layer, so usually you want to be able to see you know, your tokens, so that's be on top of everything else. And that's really it for layers. You see, it's pretty basic. There's just four of them. The main thing to remember is they stack, like I said, just like a cake. You know, anything on a higher layer is going to be above anything on a lower layer. And then within a particular layer, images rule. Images go on top of drawings no matter how many times you try to draw over the top of them.